Hi, our friend Rodney, Rodney Allen Schwartz. We're in the Westminster Gallery. Today we're going to look at some Advent art. We are preparing for that time when we wait for the birth of the Christ child. Let me show you how we're going to tell that story with art from the Westminster Collection. There are many times in the Bible when we are given messages by God. Sometimes they come from prophets. Sometimes they are delivered by angels or in a dream. This image by Marie McCarthy called Blue Angel 2 shows two angels blowing horns, giving us a message. And this angel foretelling by Nalini, a Sri Lankan artist, again shows a stylized angel blowing a horn. And here we say a shofar, a horn made from an antelope, something that has come to us from Israel. This horn could perhaps be the horn of salvation, telling us the forecoming of the Christ child's birth. The arrival of the angel Gabriel to Mary is a moment called the Annunciation. Sometimes this is depicted quite simply with Mary and the angel and a conversation. Over time, this image has become very, very different. This painting by Henry Kinsel from Edina shows a somewhat modern day Mary in a bedroom with a lot of symbolism, the Easter lily there representing the eventual birth, death, and resurrection of her child. We see the dove, which represents the Holy Spirit, in a rather unusual bedroom setting. This representation of the Annunciation is by the Chinese artist He Qi. It is a reproduction of one of his paintings, which has been executed in hand-dyed and hand-embroidered silk. A somewhat simpler image, here we see Mary with a flute, indicating that she is educated, that she is able to play music. Sometimes she's shown holding a book, which would indicate the same thing, that she has an educated woman. Again, we have the Easter lily and the dove. This small Italian sculpture represents Joseph's dream. Here he is being told in a dream that Mary is going to have a child and that the child is God's and that Joseph should marry her, take her to Bethlehem to have the child born and to raise him as his son. Joseph would have dreams again, both when it is time to f for the flight to Egypt to escape Herod who is killing children and later another dream when it is safe to leave Egypt and to return back to home. Another significant event that happens during Advent is called the Visitation. The pregnant Mary and her cousin, the pregnant Elizabeth, meet. Here, Mary is of course pregnant with Jesus and Elizabeth with John the Baptist. This image by Nalini shows this intimate encounter. Again, we see the Holy Spirit represented by a dove. Another variation of this meeting is in this wood carving by Mary on Osborne. As we progress through the four weeks of Advent, patiently waiting for the arrival of the Christ child, we receive messages from prophets, from angels, and in dreams, and we prepare for the coming of the Lord. During this time, we use blue pyramids and vestments for worship. Here we see, again, the wings, perhaps of the dove, perhaps of an angel, and the light of the star shining towards Bethlehem. At Christmas, we change to white pyramids, and in the sanctuary, we see the Advent candle, and we light one candle each week during Advent, and finally the Christ candle on Christmas Eve.